So hello friends and welcome you all to sell to MDS Dental Academy myself Dr. Malay Thiwedi the pediatric dentist and assistant professor in College of Dental Sciences So dear friends as today we have the live based session on the image based question for your neat MDS and also few important points regarding oral pathology So one more video though for the student those who miss it So dear friend before starting with the video I want to share few tips regarding your need mds preparation so i have seen many students are asking me sir we are studying but we are not getting the rank we want what the mistake we are doing what is the biggest drawback in your preparation <laughs> so dear friend i have categorized the mds preparation or mds ranks in three category so first are the students who are getting rank from 1 to 500 the second category that is 500 to 2000 to 2500 and third category is after 2500 so dear friend what these three category tell us? So first category that is one to find it. These students have bright chances that they will get in the government colleges and in very good private colleges. The students from five hundred to two thousand five hundred have a chance that they may get in the government college, but there are a chance that they will get in the good private colleges. And after two thousand five hundred, they have to compromise with their colleges and with their seat also. So what is the biggest problem you all are facing and why you are facing it is that you are not updated with the current exam pattern as if five years ago, before five years the exam pattern was different but now the exam pattern is completely different you can see in your uh, exam that different type of question like single based answer true and false reason and assertion then we have a case based scenario so such type of questions are there in your examination so you should know how to deal with them and how to solve them properly fine this is the one biggest problem second is that whichever book you are reading the mcq book that though you have to read but along with that you have to refer the text you don't have to read the textbook you have to refer the textbook so you can solve such image based and case based question fine and what all books you have to refer I have already uploaded in my old videos you can check out in the description box information and also the type of questions asking in your aims and need that also I uploaded you can check out in the description box so friend now we will deal with one more important category that is the image based question which makes your 10 to 15 percent of your question paper fine so first question you can see in the diagram that is identify the equipment in the color plate so there are four options there is an electric pulp tester apex locator touch and heat carrier and system heat carrier so as we know the option a and b cannot be there but there is a confusion between option c and d fine so uh, the correct answer for this is touch and heat carrier fine this touch and heat carrier and system heat carrier are a vertical compaction of your gutta poka so now whenever you are studying image based question you have to check out the pictures of all the four options so this is the picture of your electric pulp tester then left side you can see your apex locator and this is your system b heat carrier so how the difference is there between your touch and heat carrier and system b heat carrier now which is this picture in this diagram uh, this is the dental operating microscope fine this is a part of your dental operating microscope this mic uh, microscope is with the split beam and also help to record the procedure you are doing remember dear respirants in exam they are sometimes asking the short form of dental operating microscope that is dom so what this picture depicts it is the golden proportion as everybody know it's aesthetic principle you should know the golden proportion of all your anterior teeth like for your central incise is 1.6 for lateral 1.0 and for your canine it is 0.6 now what this picture depicts it is Gigitwist, piezo reamers, your glide path file, or your piezoelectric drill. It is your piezo reamers. Now you have to differentiate between your piezo reamers and gigitwist. Remember, the piezo reamer have a thick shaft and they have the long, sharp flute. Wherever your gigitwist have a flame-shaped head and very thin shaft. Remember, both these instruments come in size of number one to number six. Gigitwist varies from 0.5 to 1.5, and your piezo reamers varies from 0.7 to 1.5. Seven. Now you can see the image. The what it represents, which type of vertusic classification it represents. Here I kept very simple one. It represents your type eight vertusic classification. Now, which is the 
simplest way to remember your what to see classification take the word what to see calculate the later in that if you calculate it comes out to be 8 so remember in what to see classification you have type 1 to type 8 they are of 8 types now how to remember remember in class switch of canal there are two points that is the entry point and the exit point so you have to remember the number of exit point first that is in type 1 to type 3 we have a three exit uh, we, uh, we have a just one exit point in type 4 to type 7 we have a two exit point where in type 8 we have three exit point so whenever the question asks first focus on the exit point that is the one two or three. Second, you have to take a note on entry point so remember in type 1 it is 1 in type 4 it is 2 then you have to repeat the another value like 2 1 then just repeat 1 and 2 now in type 4 i have told it is 2 2 in type 5 first opposite value that is a 1 then repeat 2 1 and then 1 2 1 2 so this is a very simplest way to remember the what to see classification now which fracture is clearly represented in the image? First of all, know the different names of fracture. There's a Lefort 1, also known as Guerin or horizontal fracture. Lefort 2, also known as the pyramidal fracture. Uh, Lefort 3 is also known as the craniofacial disjunction and your uh, transfer uh, fracture. Fine. So, you have to remember this. So, this picture depicts the Lefort 1 fracture. So, you can see in this different types of maxillary fracture there is only fort 1, lefort 2 and lefort 3. So, in this way you can clear the clutter in your mind, the confusion in your mind regarding the different options. Now, identify the instrument shown in above image, it is your apexum device. Remember, previously when there is apical periodontitis, non-healing apical periodontitis, we used to go for the apical surgery, apexectomy. But nowadays, we focus on the non-surgical endodontics. So, for that apexum device help. So, how to use this apex device? Just I will tell you a little bit procedure. After BMB, that's a bar making preparation. Remember the correct word for the BMB is CMB, that's a chemo mechanical preparation. I always tell to my student one more tip that in your neat MDS preparation, you should be clear with your basics. So, the correct word is CMB. After CMB, we enlarge the canal size around 35, then we insert this night eye apex device. It rotates and it minces the border of your cavity after that we insert the biodegradable fiber uh, which will clear your debris into thin suspension then go for irrigation will will flush out all your microorganism and the other debris so this is your apexum device now this is your self adjusting file that is saf so you can remember this is your night eye apexum device and this is your SAF device. Now identify the article shown in the color plate. It is your mini plate. Mini plate is also known as Shempis plate. Remember, there are many questions on the mini plate. First of all, its thickness. It's around 1.5 to 2.0 mm. Then mini plates always come in pair. Third question, mini plates are monocortical as bicortical. All, all plates, the mini plates are monocortical, but on the inferior border of mandible, it is bicortical. So, you have to remember these three things. Now, arch wire, it's very simple. Everybody know. You can see in this diagram, the arch wire. Then, reconstruction plate. This is the reconstruction plate. Fine. So, you have to differentiate between this mini plate, that is your chamfist plate. This is your arch wire and that is your reconstruction plates. Now you can see the definite treatment for the condition shown in the radiograph above. So what all treatment you can do? First, uh, know what the radiograph says. It's a premolar with the open apex. That's a blunderbuss canal with the severe bone loss surrounding the root. So extraction will not do because you want to save the tooth. So out of three, the one option is there. That is a revascularization, calcium hydroxide apexification, and empty barrier formation. Remember, it is not possible because the canal is very blunderbuss. Not possible to close with the help of calcium hydroxide fine so there is a two option there is a revascularization and the mta barrier formation so when these two options are there the most apt and correct option is your revascularization and this if this option is not available then you have to go for the mta barrier formation so i have seen complete case scenario so this is your pre-op pick we have induced the bleeding from the apex into the root canal 
and this is your MTA and you see after two years how the root canal has how the root apex has been closed so this, this is your revascularization case now we'll focus on few fixed functional appliance that is this is the classical case of your Herbst appliance this is the case for your Jasper Jumber and this appliance depicts your Rito appliance and this one is your jig appliance so in this four diagram we have seen all the four appliances that is a jasper herb study to and jig normally this fixed functional appliance are used for the correction of your class 2 the advantage of the fixed uh, functional appliance or removal is that the patient compliance will be more in this fixed functional appliance and as well as these appliances are less bulky than your removable functional appliance so i hope this all four appliances you have been through so now the latest terminology for this corresponding caries. Remember, we often tell it as early childhood caries and if it is involving the lower teeth, rampant caries. But the correct terminology for it is MDSMD, that is maternally derived streptococcus mutant disease. Fine. Now type of ECC as we have seen in the Davis classification, there are four types that is the mild, moderate, severe and very severe. This picture depicts the moderate type of ECC and this picture depicts the severe type of ECC. Now you have to identify the instrument. This is your vacuum mixer, tenter speculator, tensimeter, vibrator. Remember this is your vibrator and this is your vacuum mixer. This both instrument are used for the mixing of your dental plaster and your stone. Then which of the following grading systems for staging lymphoma representing the image? It's your N arbor staging classification. So remember the grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 and grade 4. Grade 1 is an involvement of lymph node at one area. Grade 2, more than two area are involved in a one side of the diaphragm. In grade 3, both side of diaphragms are involved and in grade 4, along with diaphragm, there is involvement of extra lymphatic organ you should be thorough with such type of staging and description when you are reading any one or the other staging now identify the film present the color plate this is the example of your size 2 iopa film 31 mm into 41 mm remember the size 0 is for the children that is 22 into 35 mm size 1 is for adult anterior that is a 24 to 40 mm size 2 is for your adult Posterior that is 31 to 41 mm and size 3 is for your bite twin that is 27 to 54 mm and size 4 is for your occlusal radiograph that is 57 into 76 mm. So what this image depicts whenever such growth come we tend to read the enlos expanding with principal but no dear friend this is different thing this is your carry away phenomenon. What it means so whenever there is a growth of the soft tissues there will be like your muscle the, there is the grow, forward growth of mandible away from the cranial base so in this diagram two things have been shown that is your cranial base and the mandible this picture depicts your surface remodeling that is your deposition of the bone and the resorption this picture you can see condyle whenever such uh, here you can see the growth is there it is the cartilage deposition principle so which is this appliance it is your transpirator arch remember the transpirator arch can be used for space management when your one side of arch is intact and other side tooth loss is there now you can check out few most common in order pathology like your benign bone tumor bone tumor primary malignant bone tumor malignant bone tumor in india and radio sensory tumor please focus on the words i have underlined there is one more common, the most common skin cancer, oral cancer, deadly neoplasm, the carcinoma of good prognosis, common benign soft tissue neoplasm and most common benign epithelial tumor. Then one more, the metastasis cancer to jaw bones, jaw bone affected by metastasis and most common malignancy in AIDS. Then you can see the leukemia in children, tumor in infants, tumor in children, your metastasizing tumor in children to bones and your common cellular gland tumor in children. Here are also few common malignancies in female, males in India, cellular gland common tumor, malignant cellular tumor, most common cellular gland tumor in bone and most common leukemia in adults. So dear friends, that was all for the image based questions and few most common in oral pathology. Any doubts, you can contact me in the information given on the screen and also the information is in the description box. Till then, take care and bye.